What's up, people? Uh, I'm back, and my voice is good again. Well, sometimes it's bad, but uh, this is a battle that I just played uh, against Andy Cower. Uh, he was a three-star, so I didn't expect uh, that big army. He did brought a big army, but I brought just a crap ton of quality troops. I brought the highest quality, basically, you can get, except for the hero units. Well, Great Guard, I seen that as a hero unit uh, because that's the best cavalry in the game. But I still wanted to show you this battle, not to um, be mad to my opponent or saying you played not good and you are three stars and so better. No, that's not the case. Um, I just wanted to show you something in this battle that happened and what I'm doing good and what I'm doing wrong uh, but also what he is doing good and what he is doing wrong um, so it's just to learn you something so this is my army two Nainata Samurai, two Bovardian Monks, four Katana Samurai and two Great Guards and then you here have Pochi um, just gonna actually just play it in slow-mo so uh, his army is a couple of matchlocks, two matchlock Ashigaru um, I don't actually how many, but he has a uh, Boa Shigaru Lone Swords and a uh, Yar Naginal Samurai already. Uh, Yari Samurai, uh, Yari Shigaru, all that kind of troops. Not the Yari Shigaru, he has also a uh, Yari Calf and Light Calf. So that are his troops. Uh, just gonna fast forward it. Um, you can actually see I am outnumbered. Uh, I think. Mm, one and a half to one something like that I don't know actually how many troops he has uh, I didn't watch at the results screen uh, ooh, lag so uh, yeah also I have just recorded uh, I think is episode 8 of my what the fuck series is well also in Shogun 2 um, and I think you guys will like that one too uh, there I explain some updates on our channel uh, I th actually I think it's already up it's already up I'm just gonna upload that before this uh, because this is taking a long time this battle was played in 11 minutes so I'm uh, taking the sword dojo which gives him gives me more melee attack which I don't really need actually because my katana samurai can basically own his melee units and my great guard will do the remaining work to clean up the mess um, and my archers of course to uh, to pick a fight so that's basically all times must all the time well, all the time my strategy um, my archers are trying to pick a fight they are uh, just shooting as many uh, guys um, on the enemy team as possible just to lure my enemies into a fight with uh, my troops uh, I have a reason for that um, as you guys maybe see a lot I don't bring that massive armies and I can't afford to just charge them in you know they will be tired or just to breaking through all those spear unit that my opponent has killing his archers everything and then charged by cavalry so I'm always waiting for my opponent to start fighting um, it's not camping because I'm moving a lot in this battle and actually till here but my cavalry is always on the move they are sometimes standing still for a bit but when I see a opportunity they are always on the move I'm really a cavalry commander I love cavalry and I don't go to battles without cavalry almost even without the great guard um, because without cavalry um, I'm handicapped I don't have my mobility and I can't do anything about you know uh, really high sword units that my opponents maybe have spear units I can kill because my katana samurai will actually destroy them but really high sword units like a 9 chevron katana samurai I can't begin anything with uh, against them with a non upgraded 
uh, Katana Samurai. But I can kill them with a non-upgraded Great Guard. Um, so there you have my point. Um, cavalry is just so fucking good in this game. <laughs> it's uh, it's amazing, uh, and it's actually true in real life. Um, just charging a sword unit and a sword unit can't do much against a cavalry unit. You would imagine with a katana against a guy on a horse with a spear. I don't think he will survive. At least that's what I think. You can try it in real life but I think you won't be too happy with the result so it's totally up to you what you wanna what you wanna choose so yeah that's basically always my strategy um, sorry somebody uh, said my name and I had to answer something so that's hap that happens in life you know so Basically, what I'm doing here, uh, it's just fucking frustrating that the, this shrine here is on the battlefield, but you can't capture it. That just may it makes no it uh, it makes no fucking sense. You know uh, why you, you are doing that? You know this building you can capture is the sword dojo, and I already captured it. And in a few minutes, uh, there will be happening something fun. Just a little bloodshed. So, uh, I'm moving up, um, I wanted to hold this, um, man, I forgot the word, fuck, uh, choke point, there you go, uh, because you can't go through this building, of course, which is kind of weird, because I think you can jump across this, uh, little water thing, but, you know, maybe it's against the religion, I, I don't know, really did religion, I know it's Buddhism, but I don't know the real rules of it, so, yeah. But, uh, here I'm defending it with my calf, and, uh, uh, actually I'm doing this because, um, I saw a cavalry here, and he can easily just pull them around, and then just strike my troops, just in the back, or actually he can also go way up here but I don't think that he really wants to do that because it's taking a lot of time so I'm just gonna fast forward it because this will be fun uh, actually there, there will be just a little charge not that much I will just actually let you see a bit of the bow fight I'm absolutely destroying his troops because he can't outrange me I have the range advantage here but uh, my general is doing something against this Yari Ashikaru. He can kill them on a horse, but he will lose too many men. And he lo uh, he will lose 16 men. Uh, just usually. Uh, but now, I'm just standing off my uh, my horse and actually going to charge him as a sort of Katan hero. And now, these guys are screwed. Man, why is everybody uh, yelling at me? I don't know why. What do they want from me? So, Pochi here is absolutely pwning this Yari Shigaru. Ouch, that's two. How many kills do you get, Pochi? Ooh, ouch. The guy got owned. Really badly. So, now I lost only three men. That's a pretty big difference. Uh, so here he charged just his cavalry into spears, which is no, that's just a big mistake. Um, also, a Yari Shigaru charging in against the Naginata Samurai is not very, very smart. Um, even if you are imagining them, that there are Katani Samurai units behind them, you know, that's not very, very good. So, he's charging all of his troops on this Naginata Samurai, and they are just to hold them up. They are just to tire them out. The tire, well, tire them out to kill a bit, and then I can just destroy them. So, my great, two great guards are absolutely running amok on uh, his troops. Um, actually, I get a veteran out of this. Uh, it, uh, I named them my great chargers. So, uh, yeah. And uh, they are absolutely running amok, and uh, they are going to kill the general, which is very, very good. Um, 
So you know, I didn't even commit my katanas yet, and uh, still I'm winning with only my Nagadats. Well, now they are losing, but just look how many men. Again, somebody called my name. Fucking hell. That's just so fucking annoying. So now the general is screwed. Um, he will die. So you will probably understand that. Actually, where is the fucking general? I can't see him. Where are you? There. Die. 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 Come on. Ah. Losers. You can't even kill the general. What are you? Great guard? Or Yarika? Maybe I should just bring my Yarika because they killed the general actually. So. The battle is now over. I uh, hope you guys liked it. I uh, hope you guys also like my what the fuck episodes and all the other fits that I put up. Uh, after this will be another battle that I already recorded. But um, I first want to upload these two battles. And uh, so yeah. See you guys next time. Bye.